Hi, I'm Aki, a minimalist who is a school teacher living in a small village in Japan. There are many great things in Japan that I grew up with. After traveling abroad, I realized there are many things that I am truly thankful for. So today, I'd like to talk about 12 things I appreciate about living in Japan. If you are interested in Japan, or plan to travel or live in Japan in the future, I think this video will be really helpful for those who want to learn more about Japan. So please watch it until the end. Let's get started! First, nature. First of all, I love the four seasons in Japan. This is because you can enjoy nature in different ways each season. Also, because Japan is a long vertical shape, you can go north and experience the picturesque snowy views of Hokkaido, and you can enjoy the warm weather and beautiful ocean in Okinawa if you go south. I think it's a privilege of Japan to be able to enjoy various kinds of nature depending on the season and location. So, when you come to Japan, please enjoy not only Tokyo and the usual attractions, but also the countryside and see the varieties of nature you can see. Second, convenience stores. Speaking of variety, not only nature in Japan, but also the convenience stores provide a huge variety of things for people. Japanese convenience stores have a wide range of items to choose from. For example, unlike convenience stores around the world, where you can usually only buy food and drinks, at Japanese convenience stores, you can not only buy food and drinks, but also cosmetics, cleaning tools, clothes, towels, and wear, writing utensils, pay your bills, and so on. The quality is also very good. My foreign friend would say, I can live in the Japanese convenience store. Yeah, for sure. It's open 24 hours a day, and you can drink freshly brewed coffee in the morning and in some warm rice bowls for lunch. Then you can eat ramen at night. Food items and other products also change depending on the season. It would be perfect if there was a place to sleep and a shower as well. For me, it's very useful that it's always clean and I can use the toilet anytime. Third, transportation. Convenience is very important to many people. That's why transportation is also an important and convenient part of Japanese society. This is because Japanese railway time schedule is said to be the most accurate in the world. When I was running a guest house in Tokyo, the customers were often surprised and said things like, Trains and buses come on time? What about traffic lights and road conditions? Yeah, that's all calculated. Kind of crazy, but it's normal in Japan. So, on the other hand, I was surprised when I first went abroad and got on the train in Southeast Asia. The train was 30 minutes late. I was like, oh, when, when, when will it get here? Oh, oh my gosh. I remember I was panicking. Then I asked the station staff and he said, it's natural for it to be late. Color me surprise. This was the moment that I was able to realize how special the Japanese transportation system was. Fourth, insurance. Japanese insurance is also convenient. In Japan, there is universal health care. That's why in Japan, anyone can receive high-quality medical care at a low price. Last year, I realized how great this insurance system was because I was hospitalized with a collapsed lung for three weeks. Since I had two surgeries without insurance, I would have had to pay more than $6,000. But thanks to the insurance, I only pay $1,000. I pay about $125 a month for insurance. What's healthcare in your country like? By the way, the food at the hospital looked like this. It's more delicious than I thought it would be. Fifth, food. On the topic of food, I love Japanese food. I love most Japanese foods such as sushi, ramen, soba, 
udon, takoyaki, tempura, teriyaki, shabu shabu, and natto. But my only weakness is umeboshi, pickled plums. One of the things I'm grateful for living in Japan is the deliciousness of its food. Not only it's delicious, but the presentation of its food is very beautiful. If you go to the city, you can eat different styles of Japanese food. And if you go to the countryside, you can also eat delicious food, local to that area. Japanese food is not only appreciated here, but also around the world. There are also many Japanese restaurants overseas. Tip! Do you know how to find a sushi restaurant in your area that has Japanese owners? If the restaurant was named Brabra Zushi instead of Brabra Sushi, most likely that restaurant is Japanese owned because we usually say it that way. I want to experience different types of Japanese restaurant overseas in the future. Sixth, hot springs. When I lived abroad, I always missed the hot springs because I love hot springs so much. I usually go there at least once every two weeks. There are more than 3,000 hot spring areas in Japan, and every hot spring is wonderful. Also, if you stay at a ryokan, a traditional Japanese inn with a hot spring, you can eat the best Japanese kaiseki cuisine as well. Hot springs are really indispensable for me because they relieve me of my daily stress and fatigue, and my HP can be restored. It's kind of like Pokemon Center for Pokemon. Seventh, anime. Speaking of Pokemon, it's really great to be able to watch a plethora of interesting anime in Japan. I'm from an anime generation with classics such as Naruto, Full Metal Alchemist, and One Piece. So I still love anime as an adult. If you live in Japan, you can see different types of interesting anime themed things at any time, such as vending machine, convenience stores, and even on planes. It's also nice to be able to go to the anime theme park right away, which is really amazing for anime lovers. I'm really looking forward to the opening of Ghibli Park in October of this year. Which anime do you like the best? Eighth, customer service. When I came back from Canada, the first thing I was thankful for was not having to pay a tip. When I lived in Canada, Eating out was very expensive because I had to tip 15% on top of the actual price. But in Japan, you don't have to pay a tip for anything. So eating out or going to a salon is relatively affordable. What's more, even if you don't pay a tip, the Japanese staff will still be very polite. That doesn't mean I don't like tip culture because I know many people rely on tips in different countries. However, I like this Japanese style customer service because people are still kind even though there is no tip. Ninth, safety. You may not believe it, but in Japan, you can even see women walking alone on the road late at night. You can also sleep outside almost everywhere while traveling like me. Furthermore, in Japan, it's well known that even if you drop your wallet, everything is usually returned. This is true. I have lost my wallet and gotten it back three times. The reason why Japan is safe is that I guess Japanese people always have the feeling of being seen by many gods. When I was a child, I often heard the words which means God, especially the God of Sun, is watching you. The idea of Japanese Shinto is that God dwells in everything. So it means that the gods are watching wherever you go and whatever you do. I think this is one of the reasons that there are few people who do bad things in Japan. 10th, festival. There are many festivals in Japan. The festival is a valuable opportunity for the quiet Japanese to become super Saiyan Japanese. I really love festivals because it creates a sense of unity in the community. In addition, delicious food, sake, kimono, and fireworks will make the festival even more enjoyable. By the way, in Nagano where I live, 
the most dangerous festival in Japan is held. It may be crazy for you, but Super Saiyan Japanese are fine. If you come to Japan, I really recommend you to attend various festivals. I believe that would be a great experience for you. 11th, high tech toilets. Japanese toilets are literally heaven. First of all, they welcome you automatically by opening up the lid. Toilet seat warms your butt even during the cold winter. A washlet that hits and cleans the perfect spot. Otohime, which is a button you press, and it makes a random sound that masks the noise you make while using the toilet. My foreign friend said that Japanese toilets are the finest luxury. I think so too. 12. Water. Lastly, water. Water is very clean in Japan, so you can drink tap water. I'm really grateful for this because I don't have to buy plastic bottled water, it saves you money. By the way, Apparently, the toilet water tank is the same as tap water, so you can basically drink it. But of course, I'm not gonna drink it. For me, nowadays, I've been gathering water from a natural spring and drink water like this. When I traveled to the desert area, I realized how precious clean water is. So, I'm really happy to be living in Japan now. Summary so today, I talked about 12 things that I'm grateful for living in Japan. What did you think? If you find it interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There are many good things about Japan other than what I introduced today. So please come and experience various things when you come to Japan. Also, of course, there are not only good things living in Japan, but also bad things as well. So, I'd like to make a video about it in the future. So, stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!